Okay, now just to finish up this uh, panel, I'm just laying in some of the impact lines. Again, I'm just using my uh, Winsor & Newton Series 7 number 2 brush. Just uh, putting in some free, freehand uh, impact lines there, or speed lines. I've got to vary the weight between those as well. So, um, a bit thicker as um, from the outside of the uh, the panel and uh, tapering off and getting thinner as we're getting closer to the um, the point of focus that they're radiating towards. Just uh, spotting a few blacks now as well with the with the brush. Just filling in some areas, adding a bit more cross hatching to the tires there. And that's dried. Just cleaning it up with the kneaded eraser. Just taking some of the pencil lines off there. I'm just using a uh, an ink eraser here, just to remove some of the the ink. I had on the top there. You actually damage the surface of the paper when you've got um, the ink eraser because it's, it's sort of um, it's kind of like sandpaper where you're sort of sanding away the uh, the ink that's on the surface of the paper, and because some of it's soaked into the the upper layer of the paper, you actually take away some of the fibers as you're rubbing out there. So um, if you've got heavy ink stains, you don't want to really be using an, er an eraser. It's probably better to use. Um, just some white out or remove it in Photoshop even. Just some white acrylic or whatever just to go over it. Or if it's just a light ink stain then you can use the, the ink eraser to correct those. Now I've just put in a few um, shadows there with the uh, with the pencil and I was actually going to uh, draw the line in there with the ruler where the door was, but I've just decided to do it freehand with um, with the brush. I'll maybe come and clean up later if it's if if I make a mistake. If I, if it doesn't look terribly straight, I'll go and fix it up later. But yeah, it's just a lot quicker to uh, fill in these shadows here with the with the uh, brush than it is with a repeater graph or. A, or a crow pool, so you can see I'm pretty much done with uh, the background there of the panel. And then just moving on to the shadow of um, Ilyana and Colossus on the ground. Just carefully going around the figures there, so um, don't obscure anything. Just having a look, uh, just having a few, uh, another head outline there. And just, I've actually applied a bit too much ink there, so I'm just uh, dabbing some off with some paper towel. Just twisting it so I can get a bit of a point and be a bit more uh, accurate. Now, I wasn't really happy with uh, Colossus's leg here in the... Uh, in the last panel, I think I did it a little bit short. So I've just sort of um, started to go back in and redraw it here, just erased it. Just with a regular stellar rubber, and I'm not terribly happy with this arm either, so. Um, actually, decide to uh, redraw both the arms actually here, so. Um, I think this was a case of where I wasn't really happy with uh, I hadn't transferred the uh, the pose, the initial pose that I had in my layouts. Uh, 
uh, because I didn't trace it, so I didn't get it exactly the same as I had it before. So I'm um, trying to compensate here by changing the arms, but um, I think really what I needed to do was uh, change the body, but uh, I'm on a deadline here, so just trying to make some adjustments that I, um, I'm happy with and um, fix it up as much as I can without having to totally redraw the whole thing. Again, just tightening up some anatomy a bit more. Putting in some details of his hand now. This is going to be um, gripping something, scrunching sort of the metal there in the foreground. Even though I haven't really drawn too much detail yet down there with the surrounding objects. Just putting in a bit now, but again, not doing uh, too much detail. Just sort of roughly emphasizing the the main outline of the uh, the thing that he's grabbing. A few little scrunch marks around there, and. Um, some wires and sparks and stuff. I would normally leave that stuff to just do with the ink, but I just want to make sure I'm going to have some stuff in front of the leg and sort of some other stuff sort of behind the leg and the arm sort of gripping stuff. So I just want to make sure I've got stuff in the right, um, on the right sort of plane so I don't sort of make a mistake at the ink stage. Just touching up some of the shadows here on the in the third panel, and now I'm actually going to uh, ink the the outline here of the figure with the with a brush. So again, same uh, number two brush, the series seven, Windsor and Newton sable brush. This image just vary, varying the uh, the line widths. Moving on around the rest of his body as well. You can see me going sort of slightly heavier on the underside there. It's going to be away from the light source. Sort of going to, again a little bit heavier there, just on the underside of the muscles.
practice making some adjustments to our course's foot there as well. And now just putting some stuff, the, the foreground elements in. And you can see I've got a little bit of a uh, heavier line weight there as the, the things are in the foreground. Sort of the underside of that uh, metal thing that he's he's grabbing and uh, crushing. I'm just adding some shadows to these uh, very um, the things that are in the the very extreme of the foreground, just to sort of separate the planes a bit more as well. Again, you can see I went over the top of his uh, fingers there sort of to show that he's sort of grabbing inside and uh, scrunching deep into the uh, the metal thing that he's grabbing there. Just with the brush laying in quickly, just some um, some uh, crumpling and denting going on from uh, the weight of Colossus's metal frame standing on this uh, metal plate of crumpling under his weight just putting some shadows in and stuff as well just you can sort of sort of slightly see that it's more of a, a dry brush it's got a bit of a, a rough edge to it where I've just kept uh, drawing with the brush as it's running out of ink I call that the dry brush rotating the paper around so I don't um, so I get a good angle and I don't run my hand over any uh, wet ink that's drying down the bottom there just sort of being careful there with uh, his hand to make sure I don't have it touching uh, the hand in panel 4 I don't want to have another tangent happening on the page Right now I'm going to move in some details on his uh, face here with a crow call. Because this is obviously a larger, um, a larger figure than uh, the ones in the other panels, I'm not really going to bother too much with uh, repeater graphs. Except for maybe some of the minor details I might add with the, the repeater graph, but most of the stuff I'm going to do here with uh, the crow call and um, the brush. Just making sure I haven't got the, uh, the quill loaded with too much ink. Again, just sort of going heavier with some of the main structure lines and a bit lighter with the, the detail lines. And sort of the lines which are going to be away from the light source, sort of starting to cast in the shadow, just going a little heavier there. Sort of his cheekbones and his chin and everything. You know, just laying in a few of the lines on his neck there, again, just with the crow quill still. Getting some details now to his neck and starting to do his costume in. 